What's good, y'all? It's Vach the Lombardi, and of course, we just got the new news, so I'm doing this video just in case there's anybody that wanted to know my thoughts on the situation here. Uh, Brother Travis Frederick is gone, y'all. He is retired, but let me just kind of put this vibe about before I get into this, man. Like, I don't want us to be selfish about this. You know, I don't want uh, Cowboy fans to to hate him because, oh, we're trying to win a Super Bowl and you're retiring. You suck. I don't want nobody to think like that, and I shouldn't have to say that, but there is some ignorant ass cowboy fans that'll probably think that way so before we get started if there's any of y'all that think that like just click off my video because you don't deserve to be um you know in this in this in this thinking space man we are a group of people that want to uh say thank you to travis frederick that want to appreciate travis frederick now of course it's going to be business as usual and i'm going to um talk about how things change moving forward from travis frederick you know draft plans moving forward if if, if that changed you know depth chart stuff I will be going over that because it is business as usual. Um, but everybody, man, just go over to his Twitter. He put this long message out. It was heartfelt. And I feel him, man, because all football players kind of have this notion that, you know, if I can't do it at my best, I just don't want to do it. You know, and Travis Frederick went from being God tier center to a hey, man. I have my Guillaume Beret. I think that's how I said it. I think I said it right. Pardon me if I didn't. Um, but I had that. Um, and I'm not 100%. I haven't come back 100%. And if you kept up with my channel, just me watching film, just, you know, watching Travis Frederick every week. I mean, he was getting better slowly, but slowly, but slowly. But I don't think Travis gave you that dude that he was. And I, and, and, and it could just be a, be a, you know, like a, like a pride thing. Right. And, you know, as a football player, an ex football player, I get that, man. You know, if you, if, if you ain't, if you ain't doing it right, you know, if you ain't doing it at the expectations that you think you can, or if you're not living up to what it is, then I don't want to do it. So, uh, Hey man, be healthy, bro. You know, be with your fam and all that. But like I said, man, we still have to, you know, break down this roster. We have to evaluate it and we have to think about, uh, some options at center moving forward. Uh, this O line that's on your screen right now, it don't exist anymore. And I think that was a pretty cool offensive line, pretty solid. But, uh, of course we have to, uh, make some adjustments, right? Um, so somebody may say, yo, Vach, are we going to look to draft a new center to come in and try to plug in to, to, to try to be what Travis Frederick was? I don't think so. Um, but you have options, right? Uh, Cushionberry from LSU. He's one of my favorite guys, you know, Tyler badass from Wisconsin. Speaking of Wisconsin centers, uh, Tyler Badass would be available to you. Uh, the GOAT Neetane Moody, if you want an interior offensive line, you can look in that direction. But I don't think that's what I don't think that's what the vibes are necessarily in that front office. And can I just say something? Just you know, shout me out real fast, man. Like I talk about this every year, man. Draft offensive line, draft offensive line, and people say, "Oh, Vach, you're saying that because you're O line biased because you played it, you coached it." No. Offensive line is like what? 58% of your offense? Somebody help me out with that math, please. Offensive like five out of eleven guys is is it that that shirt that's that percentage is is offensive line to your offense. If you lose one guy, hell man. <laughs> of course you gotta draft offensive line. Often. Now, as of today, right? As of today, with the seniority, we've seen him do it. Joe Looney is probably your starting center as of today right we know that he knows all the plays we we have the 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 receipts the evidence that joe looney can step in and play center for you now what are Vach's vibes on this you know some people would, would you know they would say that joe looney was top tier fantastic oh he stepped in and he was just he was just as fine for travis frederick um Vach would say joe looney didn't get you killed Vach would say joe looney was very adequate um, but I don't think Joe Looney is the answer here. I like Joe Looney as the swing interior dude. If anything happens to left guard, center, or right guard, I, I like Joe Looney coming off the bench um, to 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 kind of help out where he can as short as as short a time possible as he can, right? But I tell you all the time, man, like that last year's draft where y'all felt like it wasn't that important. You're going to be needing those guys. So the Tristan Hill draft, the Connor McGovern, in which he was the third round pick with a lot of people had second round grades on him. Me too. Um, you know, Donovan Wilson, those guys that you drafted last year, you're going to need those guys to play for you this year. And I think Connor McGovern is going to end up being your starting center. Will it, will it start the season that way? I don't know. 
I don't know if it's going to start the season that way. Colombo ain't here, so we may not go through seniority thing. We may just watch the film. We may consult with the um, player uh, player personnel people, and we'll just end up saying, hey, Conor McGovern's the younger guy. Let's just put him versus Joe Looney in the competition circuit or whatever. We'll give him an equal number equal number of, of, of plays and snaps, and we'll see who's better. Okay, they could do that, but I think for the most part, man, it, you know, Connor had his uh, he had his red shirt, Connor McGovern, that is, it's two Connors now. Uh, he had his red shirt season, he sat out, he ate peanut butter sandwiches and steaks and potatoes, and he got big and he lifted weights, so now he's in his NFL man body. So, I think Connor, Connor McGovern going into training camp, I think he's 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 gonna walk out the guy, even though Joe Looney may start the guy in july he may start off as the guy but conor mcgovern is probably going to end up being that now if it's a situation where something happens to tyron smith because that is the thing then we still have conor williams that's available to play tackle for you like i think they've been trying to work conor in conor williams into the the tackle rotation for like two years now just to see you know just if just in case there's an emergency you know tyron smith does like to wake up in the morning and go ouch you know what i mean just like game like game day he'll wake up and go ouch and we may need a like a tackle last minute right i think this further uh backs up the fact that hey connor williams might have to play some tackle for you and if that's the case then mcgovern could he hey he could mcgovern can play center or he can go back to his original guard spot in my opinion the reason i got it like this is because I want my guards to be a little more powerful. I want my guards to be able to dig people out of those gaps. So if 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 I had an option, I would put McGovern at center to start. But if something happened to Tyron, put Williams at left tackle, McGovern at left guard because he's powerful enough to do it, and then bring Joe Looney in to play center. Why? Because he can combo with Connor McGovern. He can combo with uh, with uh, Zach Martin. You can kind of hide Joe Looney as a center. You know, you don't want to just put him in um, deep waters with some gangster by himself. And, um, of course, man, you know, if we don't want to put Connor Williams at swing tackle, then, you know, uh, uh, Brandon Knight. You know, we drafted him last year. He's another guy that's going to have to be more, you know, be more um, present. You know, uh, Cameron Fleming ain't here no more. So... If you want to be in a situation where you don't want to move Connor Williams from left guard, then Brandon Knight can be that swing tackle for you. We got options, y'all. We got options, and um, the best part about it is that we don't have to panic now. I know I named the the draft prospects earlier, but that was just because I'm draft guy, and some people wanted wanted to know some names they can look up. Sure, those were your names you can look up, but I think the Cowboys did a good job of covering their ass here because we got multiple swing tackles, we got multiple swing interior guys, multiple centers, and I think these guys are available because we didn't know if Travis Frederick was just going to wake up and didn't want to play football anymore. So we had to draft a Connor McGovern last year. A lot of people thought it was a head scratch. I was on board because you just never know when you're gonna need you know somebody on your offense to just be available for you to just be available you know what i mean somebody help me out with that math what's one offensive lineman uh to your offense that's like what 11 percent, i guess i don't know help me i can't count <laughs> i'm terrible at math whatever though but um the YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that's subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute. Hey Travis, man, we appreciate you, dog. Everything you did, dog. You, 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 you made this offensive line top tier. Uh, Jason drafted you because we were trying to, you know, build this offensive line from the ground up and run the football a little more. And you were one of those pioneer pieces. As a former center, I admire your work, love what you did, but uh, you know, I 100% respect your uh, your 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 reasoning. And I respect your decision to want to get up out the game, man. So if we could please just have a moment of silence for Travis Frederick. Appreciate y'all for watching. Doski Woski.